today is Food for Thought comes from the 18th chapter of 1 Kings, verses 21 and 22, and verse 24, which reads, And Elijah came to all the people and said, How long will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him, but if Baal, follow him. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone and left a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Then you call on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, and the God who answers by fire, he is God. Elijah lived in a day where he was surrounded by wickedness. People like Ahab and Jezebel, they had killed many of God's prophets. Yet here we see Elijah standing boldly as a prophet of the Lord, laying down a challenge. I want you to understand today that Elijah, he wasn't afraid. He stood confidently. And the reason why he was able to stand so confidently was because he knew the Lord. Too many so-called believers today conform to the words of those that don't know the Lord at all. They aren't in fellowship with him. Many of us, we are afraid to be laughed at. We're afraid to be mocked because we have chosen to have faith in Christ. So because of that, many have conformed and they have sadly lost their identity because they have been influenced by the wrong crowd. Let me say this. There is absolutely nothing wrong with you being influenced, but don't ever let someone influence you to the point that you bring harm to your soul and you lose yourself. I say to you today, don't be afraid to stand alone. Don't be afraid to stand in your identity as one of God's children. You should take pride in being one of God's children. There is, again, absolutely nothing wrong with being unique because God has blessed you to be just that, unique. God has made unique. Don't lose your identity as God's child to satisfy others. As a child of God, take the bold stance. Live fully convicted of your faith in him, regardless of what others may say or what they might do to you.